It's Pinterest time. This is a 10 out of 10. There are a few things that I think I want to thrift. This outfit is so much cuter than I thought it would be. I'm gonna have to improvise and DIY my own. Hello you spicy bean. If you guys are new, my name is Harriet and it is a new year and it's gonna be a new me. I am so ready to enter like a new era. I moved cities like two months ago and I just feel like it's time to change. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair, not in this video, but I'm gonna be dyeing my hair, just really stepping into the person that I wanna be this year. I'm so fucking excited. But step number one is finding my new style. There's really only one place to go to find style inspiration, to find the new Harriet, to enter my new era and it's obviously Pinterest. I'm literally just on my homepage and this is what I love so much about Pinterest is like it really knows me so well. I think this outfit's quite cute. It's giving cool girl vibes. I'm really into the baggy look right now. This picture of Avery, I actually love and I have a pair of pants that's similar to these. I wasn't expecting to like this outfit, but she's like such a cool girl. I'm definitely adding this. I've seen this outfit so many times and I'm genuinely obsessed with it. It's giving like Emma Chamberlain and I love it. The only thing is I don't have a jacket as beautiful as that. I really love outfits like this as well. I love the girly mixed with more streetwear, like grungy elements, like the jacket and the docks. I've been loving baby tees like this one. I love the fit. I might have to go thrifting today to find something similar to this. And this one, I just, I don't like what that says, but I really like the font and the vibe of it. I absolutely love an all white outfit. Like something about this look is so cool to me. I just have a feeling she'd be wearing like speed dealers and a slick back bun. This one is similar, so I'm definitely gonna play around with all white outfits today. Everything about this is cool. I love the collar. I love that she's wearing a jumper and then a jacket. The sunglasses, like the spiky bun. This is like how I want my energy to be. I want people to just look at a photo of me and be like, she is a cool person. I've literally saved so many photos, but now I'm gonna go down the bottom and click find some ideas for this board. And this is kind of like the Spotify algorithm, if you know what I'm talking about, where it recommends things based on your current kind of selection. This is kind of cute. It's very different for me and it's definitely more of like a autumn or fall outfit, but I really think this is cute. I literally love this look of having a business shirt underneath a jacket. Like that layered look is just so cool to me and I feel like you can pretty much wear this in any season. This is a really cool look. I actually have been recently wearing an outfit that's quite similar to this, which I think I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So we'll pin this one. So I recently thrifted a midi dress. It's like a floral midi dress and it always kind of reminded me of Lorelei Gilmore. Back in the early 2000s, a lot of women would wear like midi dresses with boots that would come right up to where the dress ended, if that makes sense. And this photo of Matilda Jerf like shows that trend. I can't really find a photo from way back when, but um, this is kind of the vibe. So I have 33 pins and then I have a few other ideas of things that I wanna make with clothes in my wardrobe. There are a few things that I think I wanna thrift. So let's go to the thrift store. I'm back from the thrift store, let's do a quick haul. I got this little crop top from Cider, which is like a very trendy brand, and it reminded me of the top that she's wearing in this pin. This was $4. I was looking for baby tees, like that was the main reason I even went in, and I literally could not find any. But I did snag a plain black t-shirt that I am going to DIY. And I also found this absolutely stunning vintage shirt. This one was $9, I think. We're gonna be able to style this today. Since I didn't find any baby tees, I really was hoping to get a few more like this that I could style in different outfits. I'm gonna have to improvise and DIY my own. I have a red t-shirt in my closet that I'm dying to make over because I never wear it and I'm really into red right now if you guys can't tell. This is where today's sponsor comes in. Thank you Cricut for sponsoring the next portion of this video. Let me show you guys how I'm gonna DIY a shirt like this and make it look 
like this. So the first thing I'm doing is opening the Cricut Design Space app. This is a free app available on PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. So I'm hitting new project and I'm starting with the text tool because I want a text-based t-shirt. Of course, I'm typing in Spicy Bean because I don't want anything else on my shirt. They have so many different fonts available. They have access to nearly 130,000 images and heaps of ready to make projects. So you don't even have to create your own project if you don't want to. The material that I'm gonna be using is called Smart Iron-On, but this machine cuts over 100 materials. Slay. Now I'm gonna hit mirror because I want the text to read the right way when I'm wearing the shirt. I'm clicking Smart Iron-On and it says it's ready to load the machine. This is the Cricut Joy. She is a pocket rocket, okay? She's iconic. It's 15 centimeters and it weighs less than 1.8 kilograms. So it packs away so easily, but the best thing is it has the same precision and speed of Cricut's full size smart cutting machines. It's also very sleek. It has a buttonless design and you connect it via Bluetooth so easily. So this is the smart iron on material. It has a shiny side and a matte side and I put it shiny side down. Once you put it into the machine, it automatically measures the material for you to make sure that your design is gonna fit. So since I'm ironing on this material, I'm gonna check out the Cricut heat guide. So I'm clicking the machine that I have, which is the Cricut Easy Press Mini. I'm selecting the material that I'm using, which is their smart iron on. And then I'm selecting the material of my shirt, which is 100% cotton. I click apply and literally this is my guide to how long I need to heat it up for all of that. It's so helpful. So once that's all done, I hit go and it starts cutting out my design. Genuinely, this whole process took about five minutes. Like this was so easy. Also something cool is this machine comes with a pen. You can replace the blade with a pen and it will draw for you. So once it's done, I hit unload. I unload the material from the machine and you can see my design very faintly. I've just cut it out to save some of the material. And this is the most satisfying part. You get to peel off your material and for the little parts, like in the B, for example, I'm just like picking that out. This is my design. It's so stunning. And now I'm literally just using the heat press mini and following all of the instructions on the heat guide. This is how it's looking so far. I'm just waiting for it to be cool to the touch, which honestly won't take too long. Oh my God. I have never been more obsessed with a piece of clothing. I'm literally about to DIY every single t-shirt that I own. Look at this t-shirt. <laughs> you can see with your own eyes the possibilities of this machine. If you guys live in Australia, the Cricut Joy is available at Big W, Spotlight, JB Hi-Fi, and Harvey Norman. And if you live in New Zealand, then it's available at Spotlight and Warehouse Stationery. I cannot recommend this product enough. Like I'm not a crafty gal and look how easy this was for me. So I will link all of the relevant links down below and thank you so much Cricut for sponsoring. Let's go and try on the outfits. Welcome to my closet. I do have more clothes on this side, but this is where we're mainly gonna be picking out outfits from and I'm so excited to try these on. So this is the first outfit. It's just a nice layered look. So I'm gonna need a white top and a black skirt. This white singlet kind of scoops in the front in the same way that hers does and this is really cropped. I don't have a plain black skirt, so we're gonna use this like kind of fake leather snake skin one instead and then in terms of the business shirt hers is purple stripey which I don't have I'm just wondering if I should do the plain purple one or the stripey kind of rainbow one I think to keep it similar we'll do the purple one and then I have white socks which I can like scrunch down as well as my docks I don't have loafers that fit me so we're gonna use these instead. This is the jacket that I'm gonna be wearing. This one is thrifted and I'm just obsessed with it. This is a 10 out of 10. Are you guys seeing this? This outfit is so cute and the glasses. I tied my hair up to try and like, I didn't wanna fully slick it back, but I did just tie it up to give off the same kind of energy. This is 100% a 10 out of 10. This is exactly what I want for my new era. Like this outfit is so simple but so cute. I am literally obsessed. <gasps> Please also rate these outfits in the comments. Let me know like if you guys like them as much as me, but this is fucked. What a way to start it. I am obsessed. 
Okay, this is the next outfit and the little vest that she's wearing is actually the thing that I thrifted. So it's not exactly the same, but I feel like this will look really cute over a white crop top. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm gonna use this as the little vest. My plain white t-shirt is in the wash. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm just hoping that the vest will cover up the logo. If not, I might try wearing it back to front. Um, but I I do have a top like this, it's just in the wash, terrible timing. Then I'm gonna use the same black skirt as before, black tights. And then her shoe situation is inconclusive. I can't actually see what shoe she's wearing, but I'm just getting the vibe that she would probably be wearing the same shoe combination as the previous girl. That's very trendy to wear like the little white socks over tights. So I'm gonna try that on. And that's outfit number two. I didn't put the tights on, which maybe is a little bit of a cop out, but honestly, I put the top half of this outfit on and I was like, I already hate this so much. Um, so it feels like a ways for me to get sweaty in tights. This does not look as cute as her one with the actual vest. I should have known, but I thought I was doing something with this. I like the idea of this outfit. I just don't really like the execution. So this has got to be like a three out of 10 for me. Okay, this is outfit three, which is the Avery Ovard outfit. I really love this. Um, I love that she's wearing heels with socks. Like you just don't see that all the time. So I'm gonna make my own version of this outfit. In terms of pants, I actually have two pairs of red pants. Both are thrifted. So the first pair, I think are the ones that are calling my name, but the only thing with these pants is they are kind of more like an ankle length and her pants are definitely very long. So as a backup, in case this looks really weird with the heel situation, I do also have this pair of red corduroy pants and these ones are a lot longer. So I might try both of them on and I'll, you know, see which one looks better. I don't have a white long sleeve t-shirt, but I do have this kind of cream crew neck, which I feel like is gonna give off similar energy. In terms of a bag, I'm gonna wear this um, little shoulder bag, which looks very similar to the one that she has on. And these are the heels I'm gonna wear. They are pretty, a pretty good match for hers, to be fair. Um, these ones are just from Glassons. So I'm genuinely so curious to see how this outfit's gonna look like this could really go one of two ways. Okay, this is quite obviously a zero out of 10. It's a big fat no. Um, the thing is her outfit does look cute. I'm wondering if it only looks cute, like bent down. Like, does this look cute? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe just like the pieces that she has works better. She's also like a model, so she's taller and thinner. I, that often does play a part. Yeah, I would never wear this. Honestly, like it could be redeemable with a pair of sneakers, but even then, it's just like the shape of the outfit generally that's just not, it's not doing things for me. This is the next outfit. Now this one is definitely not gonna be the exact same because I don't have a blue denim skirt like this. I really, really love this skirt and this outfit generally, like it's just so cute. So I am gonna make my own variation of it. The skirt that I have that's like the most similar is this kind of cargo khaki one. Obviously very different vibe, but hopefully we can still make a cute outfit with it. I think I'll probably wear it with this jumper because this one does look a lot like hers, but I'm not sure about how those two colors are gonna look together. Obviously her skirt is blue, which I feel like is the main part of this outfit, but I'm still keen to see how it looks. And then I have a green bag. It's a different shade to hers, but I feel like the vibe is there. I can't see her feet in the outfit, so I think I'm just gonna head over to my shoe rack when I'm trying this on and like find a pair of shoes that works. This outfit is so much cuter than I thought it would be. I like how it looks out, but then also I do really love giving it like a tuck, kind of like this. I feel like this is how she wore it. This is fire, like I'm really into this. I'm so comfortable and just feel super put together, even though this outfit is very, very simple. This is a nine out of 10, like so simple, but love the colors together. I think I will be on the lookout now for a denim skirt that looks like hers because it genuinely is such a cute outfit. Like, why have I never thought to put this together? This whole outfit came from my wardrobe. I feel like I'm in like a 2000s rom-com in the makeover scene right now. Like that's what this is giving me. It's giving wild child makeover scene. All right, guys, the next outfit is kind of like a combination of these ones. So it's that all white baggy energy. I'm literally so excited for this outfit. Like 
I just love this vibe. I really hope it looks as good as I think it will. So in terms of the pants, I do have a pair of white linen pants. Um, I don't own like any white denim, which is kind of crazy. I definitely want to get some, but these are the pair of pants we are going to be working with. In terms of a white t-shirt, I kind of want to wear this Michael Scott t-shirt. I feel like these shoes could be cool. These are Nike Air Force One shadows. I thrifted these or these ones. These are feeler disruptors. They actually have pink in them, which is why I was kind of thinking they might work with the t-shirt. Damn it. <laughs> this is not giving what needs to be given. The thing is like, I can't quite figure out what's wrong with it. I'm thinking it's actually everything. I think I need to get some like white baggy jeans or like white carpenter pants and then I think this top it just because it's like kind of a meme shirt it's not the best fit like I think something with a bit better of a fit would work and then I think if I had shoes that were like pink or kind of broke up the outfit more it would work better but yeah damn it I had such high hopes for this didn't I but do you know what not every outfit can slap this is like a two out of ten for me. If you have any suggestions on how I can make this better, let me know because I still love the idea of like an all white cool girl outfit. I just think this is not the right way to go about it. All right, this outfit is the cool girl outfit. Now, am I going to pull this off? Probs not, but I will try my absolute best. She's got a white button up as like her base layer it looks like. I have a white button up. This one is thrifted. Then she's got a black jumper over the top. This one's not quite as exciting as hers, but it's what I have, so we're gonna use it. And then of course I will be using my black leather jacket again. I can't see what pants she's wearing. And to be honest, it really could go either way. She could be wearing like a little black skirt with the tights that kind of vibe, or she could be wearing like really baggy kind of cargo pants. I'm really not sure. So I'm gonna try on the top half and then pair some pants that work. This is literally the coolest outfit I've ever worn in my life. And all of this was in my closet. So I did have to improvise on the bottom half, but I just kind of felt like this is what she would wear, or this is my interpretation. So I just did a black skirt and then the same kind of shoe vibe that's been the vibe of this whole video pretty much and then I put on some chunky rings because she had some on and I wore these speed dealers again I don't know this is just the vibe this outfit literally is so cute I'm obsessed like I'm actually in shock it feels like this is just who I am now this one is an 11 out of 10 this is the outfit of the video I can just tell like this is it So this is the next outfit and this actually reminds me of a different variation of an outfit I have literally been wearing so much lately. So I'm going to show you my version because I think it's also fun to show you things that I have actually been wearing. So the base of this outfit is a white skirt and then a white top. I really am like into all white right now, which is kind of wild for me. So these two and then I basically just pair one of my colorful shirts over the top but the one that I've been loving lately is this purple one again and I actually have a pair of sunglasses that matches this shirt perfectly and it just the vibe is unmatched I wear this all the time it's like one of my favorite summer outfits just for day drinks or to go thrifting it's so comfy like super casual and what I love is just how simple it is but I love these sunglasses too I think they match so well it's such a small detail but I do think it really brings an outfit together and it makes it look a lot more cohesive so this is like definitely different to her outfit that you know was on my Pinterest but I wanted to show you this because I've been wearing this a lot and it's kind of the same idea. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's definitely not a 10, but I do wear this all the time and I think I will continue wearing this throughout the summer. This is the next outfit, which is literally so cute and honestly so easy. The perfect dress for this is this Princess Polly one, but I put this in the dryer and I actually think it's basically a t-shirt now, but I am going to try it on with this and hopefully it's not 
ass length. If it is, then I also have this cute little white dress that I got recently. So this will be my backup. And then I have this jacket, which pretty much matches perfectly and my black high top docks. And that's literally the outfit, like so easy and so cute. This dress is literally like borderline, not a dress, but this is a really, really cute outfit. What's funny is I actually would never ever style it with these shoes myself. I've worn this exact outfit before, except I wore it with these white boots because I'm a big fan of like, cohesion but I actually really do quite like it with the docks it adds like an edginess and just a different vibe this outfit I'm gonna give a 7 out of 10 it's not like my favorite thing ever but there's nothing wrong with it it's just not giving that new era feeling I am dying to style this spicy bean t-shirt um, so I'm gonna kind of loosely base it off of this pin that I pinned I say loosely because I wish I had a pair of shoes that have red in them but I just don't so I'm gonna run with the red and black theme instead and kind of put my own spin on this outfit I definitely took some liberties with this outfit but this outfit is like a perfect combo of the previous outfit that I was obsessed with the one with the jumper and then also the one with the purple shirt I feel like this is such a great combo I'm obsessed with this like I absolutely had to style this shirt I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so the next one is the one I showed you, which is very loosely based off of this Matilda Jerf look. And it's based around this dress that I thrifted, which is literally just so stunning on so many levels. So I think I'm gonna try this on with my knee-high boots and see how that looks. But if it looks wonky, then I might also try it on with my docks. I literally hate this so much. I think I thought this dress was longer than it is. Um, this... <laughs> This is so bad, let me fix it. Okay, I do think this is way better, but it's giving six out of 10. Like, I don't know, something about this just isn't right to me. And I think it's honestly just because I'm not used to seeing myself in a dress this length. Like it's not even a midi dress because it hits me right above the knee. But I do think this is cute. Like, I think I'm just self-critical. I think I would love this on someone else. So I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. But if you guys have any tips on how I can style this better, please let me know. I have other pins, but I actually kind of wanna show you guys just a few outfits that I have been wearing recently, things that I've discovered recently that kind of fit into my new vibe. So I've been going out a lot more, like going to gigs and stuff. And one of my favorite nighttime outfits is so cute. I thrifted this pair of like suede green kind of parachute pants and I've been styling it with this black corset and I literally feel so hot and sexy in this outfit. So I have to show you guys this. I love the fact that the corset kind of shows a little bit of skin and also because the pants are like kind of poofy the corset snatches me and i'm obsessed with the look of like tight up top and then fitted at the waist and then like flowy and baggy at the bottom i just find it so flattering on me i don't always wear this with docks sometimes i will wear my white sneakers i will often wear it with my leather jacket and like a crossbody bag which i'll put a photo of up here but i also just love wearing it on its own this is a nine for me i'm also dying to see how this thing that I thrifted looks on. I think I'm gonna style this over like a black crop top and a black skirt. To be totally honest with you guys, I wasn't 100% sure that this was gonna work. I kind of just saw this item in the thrift store and I was like, it's too beautiful to leave. And also the tag looked vintage. Now that it's on, I would have massively regret not buying this. I am obsessed with how this looks with a little kind of slutty like mini dress underneath because you can kind of see the dress through the material. Oh my God, this is like one of my favorite outfits from the day and I'm actually so surprised. I was also a bit worried that this thrifted item would be a little bit too big on me because it is a size 16, but it's perfect because I love when a dress is slightly shorter than like the jacket or cover up. I think it's just really sexy and it, I love having different heights in my outfit. This is like a 10 out of 10. This color is incredible. I feel like you guys who are into thrifting are gonna die over this item.